So China aims to mass produce humanoid robots by 2025. And in this recent video that we got by this company called AGIBot, a Shanghai based robotics company specializing in the development and production of humanoid robots and delivery robots, we got to see firsthand how the world is actively changing behind the scenes. So this is a company that is specializing in the humanoid robots that are going to be working in your homes and in factories around the world. And recently they have decided to, you know, hit the gas a little bit and ensure that they're going to be one of the leaders for these humanoid robots. So they've decided to increase the rate of production of these robots and scale up the amount of robots that they're going to be doing. In this demo, you can see them working on module assembly. This is where they are working on ensuring that the actuators are correct and all of the necessary components of these robots are going to be working efficiently. They are going to produce so many robots that it is going to be uncomprehensible the future that we're going to be living in. And funnily enough, we can also see that some of the robots in the factories are also assisting them in this process, leading us to understand that this is a symbiotic relationship and one that gets faster with every iteration cycle. After all, if you do have more robots, then you can get more done. And if you can get more done, you can certainly build more robots and vice versa. So they also have an extensive testing facility for these actuators, ensuring that they can handle all the necessary loads for many different types of environments. After all, these robots are going to exist for quite some time and they're going to be needing to be tested in a variety of different environments, different stresses, just a variety of different tests to ensure that these robots are ready to go out into the rugged world that is the harsh terrain. Now, these robots aren't just humanoid robots. We can see here that they have several different kinds. We've got the A2D and in the main assembly area, we can see that these ones have wheels at the bottom of the bases. This shows us that there are vast different applications for these kinds of robots and whether it's humanoids or ones with wheels, there are going to be different areas and different applications that most people are going to be surprised by. So at the last testing area right here, you can see that I'm not sure why they're dressed up, but it does look like the shot out of a terminated movie. But no, this is a real demo from a real company that is really behind the scenes ramping up what is possible. Now we can also see at the Gigafactory just how many robots they have in production. And one of the most incredible things that they are doing with these robots is the large scale data collection. So with the data collection, they have these small areas slash environments where they are mimicking exactly where these robots are going to be when they're deployed in your home. As you all know, certain homes and certain environments are different in terms of their size. They're different in terms of their, you know, lighting and all of those different individual factors have to be collected through vast amounts of data collection. And this is how they're doing that. Real world data collection and synthetic data collection with those two forces, they're going to be able to generalize with those robots, have high precision and with efficient fine tuning, they're going to have a really, really effective stack that allows them to scale these robots to be the most effective robots in terms of whatever task it is that they do have. You can see their AIDA platform is going to be the one that allows them to scale this past the million. So it's going to be really interesting to see how these robots perform out there in the real world but so far based on what i'm seeing a lot of the tasks that we're seeing these robots do seem to be effortless and smooth and this comes as to no surprise as 2025 is the deadline for china's robotic efforts in terms of them trying to leap forward and i wouldn't be surprised if these robots when they are commercialized are quite as usual and quite as normal as simply having a phone in your house. Now, this company, like I said before, isn't the only company that is doing this. We know that there are other companies around China that are also working on humanoid robots. The demo that you're seeing here is Xpeng's robots. And Xpeng's is a subsidiary of the Chinese vehicle, electric vehicle company, Xpeng. And they're actually focusing on developing intelligent bionics. Now, this company was actually founded in 2016 and is headquartered in Shenzhen, China. And the craziest thing about this demo was I remember when I showed it to my audience first, they were really surprised that this was something that was even real. Many were claiming that this was CGI and that this was not real at all. But I can assure you that after seeing several demos of this robot in a variety of different videos, that this just goes us to show how far we are in terms of the timeline to where these robots are performing things that humans can't even fathom is actually real. Now, 
for those of you guys who are thinking, okay, this is just a short demo of it walking around in a pristine environment, the company managed to show us just exactly how this robot is going to be applied to various different industries. One of the key demos we got to see was this robot actually working inside of a factory. We got it to see it firsthand do several different tasks and it seemed very human-like in its ability to grab certain objects, be able to analyze certain objects and be able to efficiently work with the team. So this is something that, like I said before, is surprising a lot of people because right now we walk around, we don't see humanoid robots walking amongst us, but in these factories, behind these scenes in China, there is a quiet revolution that is brewing. Humanoid robots are going to be the next big thing in terms of market efficiency for those trying to scale any kind of physical labor intensive company. And we're seeing right here, firsthand that these companies are really, really advancing in terms of the pace and terms of the development of what they're doing. And car manufacturers are one of the biggest users of these humanoid robots. So I wouldn't be surprised if by the year 2030, we see fully automated car factories that are just run by a team of humanoid robots and maybe one or two orchestrators that, you know, operate these robots and automate them in terms of their efficiency. So overall, you can see the vision system here performing really well, being able to get the robot to perform certain tasks. And I think this is one of those moments where you have to see, okay, we are now entering that futuristic timeline where yes, humanoid robots are going to be a part of the future and a key part of the economy in terms of keeping up that economic growth. Now, this company has actually raised over 7 billion yuan in funding and actually gained the recent backing of industry giants like BYD and Huawei. And this support comes from some of the biggest, you know, the coming coming from some of the biggest names in the industry is a clear sign that the world is starting to take humanoid robots seriously. Now, you know, there are still hurdles ahead and some people believe that there are still scientific challenges that we will face before they can truly relieve, before they can truly reach their full commercial potential. But with the progress that they have already made, it seems that this is something that is looking to be very, very exciting for the future of humanoid robotics. So I wouldn't be surprised if other companies, once they manage to figure out all the kinks and all the small details, that they start to mass produce these robots as well. So, so far, I think this is something that I do have to pay attention to as when it comes to applying AI to sort of, you know, the embodiment aspect, this is going to be something that we really are going to be looking at firsthand. We've all seen the figure demo and of course the 1X Neo robots, but I wonder how quickly China is going to scale their robotics efforts too. So with that being said, with robot armies slowly coming to fruition and the robot workforce probably entering us year on year on year, increasing in size year over year, what do you guys think of this future? If you enjoyed the video, I'll see you in the next one.